The next part of the setup that is super important is customizing the buttons. So when you go into like, let's say the people folder, you see there's mom, dad, brother, sister. You wanna customize those and put in the language that your child is used to, like mommy, daddy, and put in pictures. So you hit the pencil to edit, you select the button you want to edit. You can change the name to like mommy or mama or whatever it is that your child uses. And then you can hit edit underneath that image to choose a picture. You might have to enable or allow it to use your camera roll the first time you do this, but every time after that, you're not gonna get a pop-up. I'm gonna choose a picture. I'm gonna see all of the albums available to me that are in my iPad. Select an album and then scroll to find an image. Let's go, that's me. You can zoom in, zoom out. You can move these around. You can do anything you want to get the picture. And there you go. And if you don't like the type, you know, mommy, if you want it to be bigger, you can edit the button right here. You can mess with the text, make it bigger or smaller. There are some limits, but you can do that. If it's a really important button, you can change the border width to thick or very thick to help it show up more. You can do all sorts of things with these buttons. But the most important thing you wanna do is always make sure that the word kind is set properly because that's how buttons you know, conjugate. That's how they operate. So these pink buttons are set up as verbs and that way when you hold them down, the option they're gonna to present to you are based on being set up as a verb. Whereas a person, the options presented to you are based on that button being set up as a person. So let's say I'm gonna create a new button. I'm gonna hit this plus sign and I'm gonna name this Leslie. A lot of times the device knows what you're programming, but Leslie is a name they've never heard of before. And so now you can see it's black and white. It, it doesn't know what kind of button that is. So on the left-hand side, I'm gonna come down here I'm gonna change the word kind to noun person or proper noun person, which I prefer. And then, there you go. I can also obviously add a picture. So I'm gonna hit edit, choose a picture, and I'm gonna pick a random person in my folder here. Let's choose like that. And there you go. Now I've added a new button and put a picture on it and set the word kind.